So my personal feeling about hormone levels is they're really inaccurate. Um, and the problem is that they, they move up and down throughout the day and, you know, throughout and from day to day for whatever reason or not, is this a good day or a bad day for you? And so I have never found to be hormone levels to be particularly helpful in dosing. And honestly, there was actually just recently an article in the New England Journal of Medicine saying the same thing that for HRT, the blood tests are a waste of time and money for patients and that we really should be dosing this based on symptoms. And that's how, what I think, I mean, I don't really care what the lab says. I care how you feel. And so the question is, did this work? Are you feeling better? Are your symptoms adequately controlled? If they are, we got the right dose. If they're not, then we may need to increase the dose. Are you having side effects from the medication? Maybe we need to decrease the dose. So that's the way I think dosing should be done is based on how you feel. Is the medicine working? Is it not working? Is it causing problems? And from that, we can figure out what the ideal dose is for you. And then even the maintenance dose may change over time. And so you may be good for six months or a year. Um, and then maybe you need a little more, maybe you don't need as much. And your body is the one that's going to tell us that. I think the body is more sensitive than any lab. Um, and if you listen to it and I listen to you, um, I think together we can figure out the right dose.